Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to answer the question that's plagued the minds of the greats for decades. Albert Einstein, Stephen Hawking, Kanye West. I'm going way over the top here, we're actually going to take a look at revealing text on an image when you hover over the image. So thanks to Pete for sending me the question and jogging my memory to make this video. I've been asked it a couple of times in the past, but I just haven't got around to making it. So it's a really simple thing to do. We're going to take Squarespace's image, post a block thing, and then we'll hide the text using a bit of CSS on it, and then we'll show it again on Hover. So let's jump into Squarespace and get started. So first off, I'm going to add an image to the page. In fact, let's put a couple of space blocks in here first so we can see the image a bit better. And then I'm going to drag in our image, which appropriately is a square picture of space. And under the design tab, I'm going to choose poster. And then we're given the option to put a title and subtitle on the image. So this is where we'll add our text. A really thoughtful and original title, that one. We can also configure an image link here, so you might want a button to display on hover with the text, or just have the whole image as a link. I'm just going to leave this set to none. Also, if you want to change the style of this text, like the fonts or the font size or colour, that can be done in the site styles menu. You can do this before we add the CSS, but for now I'm just going to leave this as it is. Okay, so the next thing is to hide the text and make it appear on hover. So if we go to our custom CSS, actually before we start touch devices, obviously you can't hover on a mobile or a tablet. So later on in the video, I'll explain how to target just desktop with this code. So I'm going to start with dot design hyphen layout hyphen poster. And then I'm going to put a space. And then dot image hyphen card hyphen wrapper. Squiggly bracket, Squarespace put to close them on in. We're going to come down the line, go visibility, colon, hidden, semicolon, come down another line, and we're going to go opacity, colon, zero, semicolon. And you can see that the text has been hidden now on the image. So next is to make the magic happen. So display the text when we hover over the image. To do this, I'm going to highlight and copy everything we just put in. I'm going to drop it down a couple of lines and paste this back in. And then after this first part, dot design hyphen layout hyphen poster, we're going to add colon hover. Going to set the visibility to visible. And the opacity to one. And there we've got our text displaying now when we hover over the image. But it's all a bit linear at the moment. So what I'm going to do next is add a transition to make it ease in and out. And also add a background colour so we can see the text a bit better. So under our first part, after opacity, I'm going to drop it down the line and add the easing for when we move the mouse over the image. So we'll add transition hyphen duration colon 1s semicolon. So this 1s can be adjusted up or down to control the speed of the easing. So we can go 0.5s and you'll see that it's all transition and a lot quicker. Go with 24s and you get bored before the transition's even complete. So for now, I'm just going to leave this at 1s. Next, I want to add the background color when we hover over the image. So to do this, I'm going to go to the second part of our CSS, the hover state. And after opacity, I'm going to go background hyphen color colon. And I'm going to grab a transparent color from a website called hexcolortool.com. As always, there'll be a link in the description to this. And from here, you can select whatever color you want using these sliders. And you can also adjust the opacity. I'm just sticking with the dark background color for this. Then I'm going to grab this HSLA code and make a copy. If we head back over to Squarespace and paste that in after our background hyphen color line. And there we go, we've got our image revealing text on a hover with a nice little background. So as I mentioned earlier, you can't hover on the touch screen. So I'm going to use a media query that will target just mobile. But for your website, you might want to consider all kinds of other touch devices as well, like uh, different sized iPads and Kindles and Kindle Fires, HDs and Google even have tablets and the Tesco still make the huddle. 
A great way to test this is in Firefox's responsive design mode, where you can get an idea of how your site's going to look on different devices. So I'll add the media query for mobile and then explain how to adjust it for different screens. So if we go to the very beginning of our CSS online one, before the first dot, I'm going to drop it all down the line. And then we'll go at media space only space screen. Actually it helps if I spell only right. Start again. Only space screen space and space normal brackets. And then in these normal brackets, we're going to go min hyphen width colon 660px. Outside of the normal brackets, we'll put a left squiggly bracket. Squarespace adds the closing brackets automatically. We don't want that there. Let's delete that. We'll come right to the bottom of our CSS, put the closing bracket down there. And then if we go to mobile preview, you can see it's not affecting the mobile side. And that is it, except it isn't. Because if you've been using Firefox's responsive design mode and you've been flicking through different tablet views and different tablet sizes, then you'll notice that it gives you the screen size on the top. You might think, well, I don't want this happening on bigger screen tablets too. So what we can do is just adjust this 660px to that of, say, a bigger tablet. So let's go with a 34px. And then again, if we go to mobile preview, all good. Tablet, all good too. And desktop is perfect. So as always, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, leave us a thumbs up below. If you're not already, consider subscribing to see more stuff like this. Hit the little bell notification to be notified when I next upload a video. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. See ya.